she's been described as the first lady of motorsports and the preeminent beauty queen of stock car racing. She's none other than Linda Vaughn. Linda Vaughn lived her life to the fullest, and she's still got as much energy today in her 70s as she did when she was in her 20s. Join Facts First to learn about Linda Vaughn's life and career and how she showed off more than her body on the racetrack. Linda Faye Vaughn was born in Dalton, Georgia, August 11, 1943. Her parents were Sebron and May, and she was the youngest of three. It seems she was destined to have some connection to racing as her father loved the sport. She recalled that, though her father never went to a race in person, he often enjoyed watching them on TV. While her childhood was wonderful, her father eventually divorced her mother after meeting another woman while on a work trip in Detroit. The Vaughn children remained in Georgia with their mother, May. While they lived comfortably in Dalton, then a bustling town, they eventually moved to a housing project as life got tougher growing up in a single-parent household. Despite these setbacks, life was still rather pleasant for little Linda. She lived next door to her cousins and had a fun childhood. Despite the fact that she would later become known as a sex symbol and the epitome of femininity, Linda was quite the tomboy during her childhood. At a young age, she learned how to make money, partially to help her family and partially for her own entertainment. She'd collect Coca-Cola bottles and turn them in for recycling. With the spare change she'd earn, she'd go to the cinema. As she grew older, she became more interested in racing, which was arguably one of the more popular sports in the South. And as she grew older, she also became very beautiful and quickly attracted attention. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Fast Cars and Beauty At age 14, Linda Vaughn met Big Daddy. Big Daddy was the nickname of Don Garlitz, who was a famous drag racer. They became friends, and she began to take a keener interest in racing, which continued to grow in popularity. She also watched Big Daddy work on his car, tuning it up, painting it, and perfecting it. She became fascinated with cars and soon realized she wanted to have some sort of connection to them as she grew older. She didn't know what kind of connection yet, though. As she entered high school, she became one of the most beautiful girls in town. She got regular attention from boys and recalled how many of them wanted to carry her books for her just to chat with her. She would reject them, and she didn't take much of an interest in boys during much of her teen years. She also realized that she was beautiful and her growing sex appeal could help her in later life. When she was 17, she attended a football game and began speaking to a fellow student named Jimmy. Jimmy was also into racing and taught Linda how to drive a race car. After high school, she moved out on her own and began studying dental hygiene. While she must have had some passion for cleaning teeth, she couldn't pull herself away from the races. She continued to date Jimmy, or Jimmy Lee Newberry as you may know him now, and they were together for 15 years. He introduced her to the world of racing, and she soon found the opportunity to become a grid girl. It wasn't long until Linda Vaughn became one of the most well-known promotional models at the racetrack. She knew she was beautiful and was particularly noted for having a large bust. She would wear miniskirts and tight clothing to show off her body. But Linda Vaughn showed off more than that. She's as much a part of the racing industry as the drivers behind the wheel. What made Linda special? Fans didn't fall in love with Linda solely because of her assets, as she liked to put it. She also had a great personality, and this is what distinguished her from other grid girls and promotional models. It's why, even in 2022, she's still an icon among racing enthusiasts as well as aspiring promotional models. She had a long-time gig with Hearst Shifter and worked as a promotional model for them. At racing events, she'd sell these shifters to professional and amateur drivers alike. She managed to amass a high level of sales, not just due to her incredible beauty, but also her charm. She remembered customers' names and became personable with them. Hearst was so confident in her abilities, she was able to decide on her own how to sell their products to them. She could essentially become her own boss. But what made her stand out was that she knew when to put her foot down. Many fans would see promotional models as easy and wouldn't always treat them with respect. But Linda had beauty and brains and knew how to get others to respect her. While she was flirtatious and wore tight-fitting clothing, she never let anyone cross her boundaries. When Linda joined the industry, grid girls were almost nude and were almost seen as a commodity, just to sell more tickets to the racing competition. But they were nameless and could easily be forgotten once they were replaced by a new girl. Linda wanted to change this. She wanted her name to be remembered among racing fans and the racing industry. Now she's retired, but she's still the queen when it comes to racing promotional models and is remembered as such. 
When she landed her gig with Hearst Shifters, she took it seriously, as she would do with any marketing job. And unlike the average model, she also had experience behind the wheel. Thanks to her father, she grew up with racing and knew how cars and the racing industry worked. This gave her a better grasp on how to sell Hearst products to potential customers. Linda Vaughn's Legacy Linda is still remembered as one of the most prominent grid girls of all time, and one who helped transform it into a respectable profession. For so many, she'll still be remembered as the face of Hearst and one of the company's best salespersons. She's written a great autobiography called Linda Vaughn, the First Lady of Motorsports. In this fantastic book that every fan should get, she talks about her childhood growing up in the South and how she became interested in drag racing and her foray into becoming a promotional model. She also has been an icon for women as she used her beauty for her career but also stood up against any misbehavior. She also spoke about her experiences growing up in the South, which was racially segregated. She spoke about how she was always against it, and she believed people should be judged by their character rather than their complexion. Today, she often gives interviews discussing her career and will occasionally show up at a racetrack to watch the cars and give advice to new grid girls. In recent time, the very concept of grid girls and promotional models has become controversial. But Linda Vaughn did prove that this can be a dignified profession and one that opens many opportunities for women. She became such a part of drag racing culture, she even appeared in a cameo role in the feature film The Gumball Rally, which was about a group of miscreants engaged in a cross-country race. She further appeared in two other films related to racing, Burnout and Stroker Ace. She's in her 70s now and still as glamorous as ever. She showed off more than her body on the racetrack, and that's why she became a legend. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Linda Vaughn? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the Join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.